Hey again, Amanda. Like you said, I do have a good friend of mine here with, us, here with me again tonight, Valerie Lee of Valine's Famous Cocktail Sauce, and a few other things since she's since she was last on the show. But we're going to talk to you all about some great certified South Carolina treats that are perfect for the holidays. So That's Val, right. let's go over here and let's start with Grey Ghost Bakery out of Charleston, South Carolina. Tell us a little more about these delicious cookies. So they use all natural ingredients, legendary family recipes. Each cookie is made from scratch, hand formed, just like Catherine's family has always done. Um, Tonight in this trio set, we have featured the lemon sugar, chocolate espresso, and cranberry orange. Also on the plate out front is the peanut butter, and the aroma is just breathtaking oh, yeah. in they here. They smell delicious, <laughs> and they are. I've already tried some. One thing about Grego's Cookies, their um, motto is open and enjoy now. They'll always bake more. Exactly. And these right here would make great stocking stuffers. Yes. Or if you want to get out of the baking for the holidays. Here you go. That's so right. So let's move on over here. We have Gillespie's Peanuts out of Hartsville, South Carolina, and these are grown right on Rogers Brothers Farm. So tell us more about the different selections we have with us. That's right. You can't say Gillespie's without thinking of them in South Carolina exactly. for the peanuts. So on these, they have seven unique flavors. Out front, we have the salted, um, chocolate covered, and the honey roasted. Um, what doesn't go better in one bite than salty and chocolate exactly. paired together. Another really great stocking stuffer, and you can satisfy both of your salty and sweet That's cravings right. with these delicious certified South Carolina peanuts. And now, moving on, uh, last time you were here on the show, you featured your famous cocktail sauce and the many things that you can do with it. Tell us what else you've added to your uh, line since then. Well, since then, we have... Um, my mother's legendary barbecue sauce. Um, she used to have a little lunch spot during the 80s, and whenever we closed it down, people kept bringing their jars around um, for us to refill them for the barbecue sauce, and she finally gave me her recipe. <laughs> <laughs> and last time you were on the show, you also featured your delicious cheese spread, and yes. now it is packed and ready to go. That's right. It's my grandmother's recipe. Some people, you know, have asked, is it similar to pimento cheese? And I say yes, but she called it cheese spread, so that's what I keep in tradition with. Um, the blend of cheeses and fresh grated onion make it perfect for dipping, scooping, and spreading. Excellent. And so many great family recipes uh, that came right out of Georgia, and you brought them here to South that's Carolina. Right. We're so thankful for that. Now, is there any significance to the brick? It is. I grew up in Sylvania, Georgia, and there's an old school building um, in Oliver, Georgia, and when they tore it down, we salvaged most of the bricks, and I still carry them around for display options. <laughs> and that's great. An awesome little story you have there. Well, thanks so much, Val, for telling us about all of these great products. We'll tell you a little more on how you can learn more about these and more South Carolina specialty food products later in the show, but until then, we'll get back to you, Amanda.